UCT's Drug Discovery and Development Center, H3D, has grown from a staff of four to 60 people, with pioneering research in tuberculosis underway and a potential cure for malaria in clinical trials. Now the funding from former Coca-Cola CEO and Chairman Neville Isdall will partly be used to tackle another critical challenge – variability in the way different African populations respond to medicines. This is mostly driven by genetic differences in the different forms of the enzymes responsible for metabolism of the drugs in the liver. This platform, uh, which we are calling the H3D Africa Drug Metabolism and Disposition Project, or simply called the Africa Liver Project, uh, which is really aimed at um, helping us understand the variability in the way the different African patient populations respond to medicine. It will be a world first and a potential game changer. This is really important because most of the medicines that end up being used in Africa are not actually optimized for African patient populations. It's hoped the preclinical discovery tool could ultimately lead to tailor-made medicines and better drug dosages for different African populations. The project is expected to attract widespread global attention. This platform that we're going to be setting up is going to make us you know, a centre of excellence that will bring you know, people internationally who want to learn about how we can understand the variability in the way different African populations respond to medicines. The initial five-year Neville Isdall Chair in African-centric drug discovery and development will allow Professor Chibali to focus more on strategic entrepreneurial development of H3D, while at the same time also fulfilling the academic research mission of UCT. The benefits are really, really unquantifiable because this is really creating uh, a new research and development industry, you know, pioneered in Africa by Africans um, that we should never be seen as, as victims or, or, or just recipients of, of aid, that we can also contribute um, uh, to providing these solutions that benefit humanity. For UCT alumnus Neville Isdall, who grew up in Zambia, the donation could have cascading benefits for Africa. I wish that this could really, really um, also encourage other philanthropists to invest in research and development. Should we continue to be successful, um, this could be the beginning of a new innovative research and development uh, industry on the African continent.